like Pachacucha is, is called wearing sombreros. The reason why I named it like that is because it's wearing Mexican stereotypes. And um, I very often find myself in situations I'm going to show, and that is why also I chose this topic. So this is a typical where you're from. And I answer, Mexico. Ah, oh, really? You don't know, look Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Mexico and they mixed with the indigenous people and that's how we ended up having white Mexicans and dark Mexicans. So you can find both, like me and dark Mexicans. So a typical thing in Mexico is a Mexican siesta. It's a short nap taken midday, normally after the midday meal, especially in hot weather um, cities and it was brought to Mexico and Latin countries by the Spanish. So the bottom line is, the Spaniards left um, footprints in Mexico. So it is safe to assume that when you come to Mexico, some of the Mexicans will expect a midday siesta. Just like in England, they would expect a mid-afternoon tea. <laughs> so another situation I find myself in is, hey, where are you from? I'm from Mexico, and you? I'm from Brazil. Ah, so you speak Brazilian. <laughs> yes, just as much as you speak Mexican. <laughs> so what I wanted to say is, yes, I am a Mexican. No, Mexican is not a language. We speak Spanish from the Spanish conquest, but a lot of words have made their way from the indigenous tongue up to the Spanish uh, language and even to the <coughs> English language. Words like tomato, chocolate, uh, chili, coyote actually come from um, Nahuatl, which is an indigenous Mexican tongue. An example is avocado, comes from aguacate, which comes from aguacate in Nahuatl, which means tree testicle. <laughs> Due to its shape. So, talking about fruits, um, I'll tell a little story about chilies. So, chilies were originally uh, cultivated in Mexico. When the Spanish came, they started doing a lot of commercial, and they were doing a lot of commercial with India. They brought chili from Mexico and started selling it to Indians, and that's how a lot of ch Indian ch that's how chili ended up in India. So the other situation I face is, oh, Mexican food spicy. No, Indian food spicier. No, Mexican food is spicier. No, Indian food spicier. No. No, the truth is, Mexican food, there is a lot of Mexican food that is not spicy. We have exotic dishes like uh, grasshoppers. We also have um, cactus. And in November of 2010, the UNESCO uh, declared Mexican cuisine world's intangible cultural heritage. Okay, so food is surrounded by stereotypes. Yeah, so it would be safe to assume that Chinese eat rice and Mexicans eat tacos. But this stereotype is actually truth in both cases. <laughs> so. Um, so, if you ever go to Mexico, you need to know that tacos means tacos. Some cleans are called tacos in Mexico as well. Another important fact is that in USA, Policemen eat donuts, in Mexico they eat tacos. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's really, really important that you know taco eating etiquette. Taco eating etiquette, those who truly know how to eat a taco know that you can never order just one. You have to order two, three, or four. You turn your head, not the taco. <laughs> the other one, good tacos, are eating standing up. And the last one is, if you know how to eat a taco, you know you have to raise your finger when you eat it. <laughs> so. Talking about food made me a little bit thirsty. So I found myself in situations where everyone would assume every Mexican drinks tequila. But I can't say anything, because if I see a Russian, I'll think they drink vodka. <laughs> Which is actually, I think 
mostly to me. <laughs> so, everyone thinks tequila has a worm. No, not you, that's mezcal. Mezcal is, is another drinking, another alcoholic drink, which is grown in the south, which is made in the south of Mexico. And the other thing is, if you have to drink tequila with salt and lime, you're drinking the wrong tequila, because you shouldn't. Sure. Oh, no. So moving on. <laughs> Another situation. Ah, what's your donkey's name? Ah, what's your kangaroo's name? <laughs> that's uh, one that's been most recent in my life. <laughs> of course, being so close to Mexico, to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings me to the story of Gringo. We call. Americans gringos. The reason behind it is because in the world they would dress, would be dressed in green, and they would yell, "Green go, green go!" So green go. <laughs> so the take home is: there are dark Mexicans, there are white Mexicans, and there are stereotypes around them. And just because Mexicans, we have a lot of sense of humor, and we make fun about everything, especially ourselves. Um, What is a basketball game between two Mexicans called? <laughs> Juan or Juan? <laughs> <laughs> and how do you keep Mexicans from stealing? Put everything in the top shelf. <laughs> 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 That's it. <laughs>